Should we get in bills for that car? <laughs> she wanted a rose. She wanted, she still needs to All right, uh, final question, Marcy. Yeah, this is so quick. We've had two shootings in the past year coming out of Bronx Park at where? And the Parks Department is leaving a lot of construction crap around, which is where the guys are hiding from. If you could work with the Parks Department to get that taken down so that it's not a place for them to hide. It's Bronx Park at Waring. There's um, partially, it's partially to take it down, but they keep putting it up. They never take it down completely. That's where they have worked on the park. That's where they, and they have, they're not working there anymore. They have to take down their little construction site <clears throat> so that we don't have, the shooters don't have a place to hide when they're leaving the coops and, um, and Parkside, flying down Bronx Park East and getting shot. Um, we're going to close it out. I just want to um, just say a couple of good things because um, all this crime talk is like, we're so, so oh, we're bare down. Um, y'all, y'all put a, um, I don't know if it's borough wide, but um, there's a nice speed radar on Boston Road between Astor and Waring. Um, sorry, I said that, but it's really nice. Um, I, I see it, it records. I'm not a driver, so don't laugh at me, but it records your speed you know, <laughs> before, before, before you pass the sign, which is cool. I I don't care. <laughs> so no, but it really works. Um, it makes people slow down. Um, the other thing is that um, I'll let you speak about twenty eight hundred two Olinville, but on the good side, there's really been there's not been a lot of shootings in this area, and I think that's a lot of thanks to um, SUV Bronx stand up to violence. So um, whatever we, if there's ever an SUV rally. Any event that you can attend to support them, please do, because there's been a drastic reduction in the amount of gun violence that's come on. But if you want to speak about 2802. Um, just real quick, the 4941 are the only commands in the Bronx that has not taken a shooting here today. Uh, I'll tell you this command. I mean, I've worked in a lot of commands where I get to the night and I say to myself, I can't believe something didn't happen. This command, I, I'll be surprised if something happens. That's how... Confident, I feel good. I feel good. Um, I feel good. good. No, no shoes. Anyway, um, 2802 Olinville. So you, you, you see it in the news. Uh, you see the individual uh, uh, get uh, beat up and then robbed by a male, female team. Um, it hits the media. We get a tip. Uh, we do have them ID. Here's the problem, I'll, I'll be frank with you. Um, the news media sometimes interferes with, with police work. And they decide they're going to get the story on this. And they go and they go to residence. And then they go to this place of employment. And uh, um, we tell them to stop. And they continue. And they spook the guy. And the victim uh, is, is concerned. He's, like, why, did, why am I getting all this attention? So we're looking to, to find him, get to him, bring him back in, so he can ID these two individuals. We know who they are, but uh, we, we hand it out to you. If you know who he is or who they are, please call on that number. Um, there is some, uh, there's some talk that there might have been an interaction between our victim and his female prior to this incident that led up to this incident. So it might, you understand what I'm going with this? So it might not be um, a random problem. Uh, you understand? We gotta vet that out to make sure. But um, either way, it, it was disgusting in nature if, you, if you've seen the film. Uh, so they're gonna be arrested anyway, um, as soon as we can get the victim in. But uh, thanks to the, to the media, um, they didn't really help us. Oh, um, final thing. I know it's in the 47, but do you have community affairs for the 47? Because Holland Avenue between AD and Burke Avenue, I know it's outside, but it's it's right there. That is, it's a really bad block. Um, that's actually the on uh, March or February 2016. There was actually a stabbing there where four guys got out of a car, and was, it turned out not to be random, according to my sources. Um, but a woman got stabbed, she had her baby carriage there. Um, there's been two instances where US um, Postal Service workers have 
encountered incidents. Once last year, um, postal worker was hit with a BB gun in the head. And about a month and a half ago, another postal worker had their mail stolen. Um, the guy or, went, or girl took um, a bunch of mail out and the postal worker was, was really destroyed. It's Holland. It's a 30, it's a 3,000 block of, Ho- of Holland Avenue. If, um, if community, I don't know, if, I know it's four seven. so if you have community affairs for four seven. So you want police presence? Is what yes, or, or do you have their phone number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Community affairs. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, Inspector Wall uh, Stevenson. You know, I worked uh, for him in two eight, so I have a relationship. I can speak to him about the block. I know there's been some violence. All right, so we're going to close it out. Um, everyone. Well, did you put it in the... Did you mail... Did you mail the check in a mailbox or in the post office? In a mailbox. Did you... Hold on. You mailed it. Which mailbox? Parker and Thwaites. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, um, they're doing it very slowly, but there's been a bit, there's a big issue with the postal post office taking away mailboxes, 2440 Boston Road, as well as 735 Mace at the, at the corner of Boston Road. Both mailboxes are gone. Um, but the, the ones that the ones that they're putting in are are um, are protected. But if you if you're gonna mail a check, um, this should come from you. But yeah, it should come from him. Yeah, but some of us can't. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Officer Medeiros. I'm the Crime Prevention Officer of the Precinct. Um, in regards to this particular issue, it's a very old crime that's recently come back, obviously, uh, mailbox fishing, where someone uses uh, various everyday household items to literally go fishing 